One of the biggest electric car companies in the world have just said that $7,000 electric SUVs are coming. This is not me making these claims anymore. This is one of the biggest and fastest growing EV companies worldwide who sell EVs all around the planet. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to become a member of the channel and get exclusive access to some of our interviews and other videos, I'll put a link in the description below. A $7,000 midsize SUV. Well, the CEO of the one of the fastest growing EV companies in the world says that this is happening. It's not just Tony Sieber saying this anymore. Now, I should mention Tony Sieber predicted this would happen many years ago. He said that EVs would cost only $5,000 in the future by 2030 for one key reason. And I'll mention uh, during this video what that reason was. How much should you pay for a mid-size electric SUV? $40,000, is that a fair figure? Thousand US dollars? Well, what about $7,000, right? Right now, $7,000 would get you into a Toyota Corolla that had done 320,000 kilometers or 200,000 miles. And if you're stupid about enough to buy one of those, well, yeah, I don't know what to say. Anyhow, one senior auto executive thinks it's going to happen. Not in the United States, but first it'll happen in China, and then it'll trickle down elsewhere. And one of the reasons it's going to happen soon is because of the EV price war. But there's another reason that's probably even more relevant. Said in a recent interview that it would be reasonable for automakers to sell a mid to large SUV for $7,000 US in the future. These are the kind of numbers that make Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, probably laugh out loud and then shiver and break into a cold sweat. The same goes for the CEO of every major legacy automaker, even including Toyota themselves. In the future, they're probably just going to burst into tears, says Car Scoops. Remember Stellantis, the parent company of Jeep? They own 20% of Leap Motor. Volvo and MG, they are legacy brands that were bought by who? Chinese companies. Geely, in fact. Jaguar Land Rover, two of the British Crown's jewels, they're owned by Indian conglomerate Tata Motors. Now, the reality is, what that's meant is, those companies can make electric cars and sell them at a profit. So how exactly are the price of EVs going to come down to $7,000? I'm not just talking about it normally, because I'm talking about like mid to large electric SUVs. Well, for starters, Leap Motor doesn't sell any mid to large electric SUVs for $7,000 yet, but it does sell their BMW X5 sized C16, which is a big electric SUV for around $20,000, which is a damn good deal. Now, really the CEO of Leap Motor, he's been he's basically referencing BYD by saying that this crazy price war in China is going to force the price of cars down even further. And whilst that's happening, and that's accurate, it's also worth considering that when you produce twice as many of a certain product, the cost usually goes down by 20%. So this year, the world will probably make around 20,000 EVs. But the following year, or at least a couple of years into the future, that figure will go up to 40 million. And that will bring the cost down by 20%, approximately. Or not it might come down a lot more than that. And the key reason for that is threefold. One, doubling of production, that's important. But two, artificial intelligence and robotics. Now, human beings are expensive. And if you've got a car factory that can produce cars without humans input or with very little input from humans, then the cost of produced cars goes down enormously. It also goes down enormously because of technologies like gigacasting, being able to cast the entire vehicle in two pieces, essentially, massively reduces the amount of pieces in a car. You're going from hundreds of parts to only two. The cost reductions in that are enormous. And that's what has enabled Tesla to make a profit selling EVs when their rivals have not been able to. So if you, can, if you include the fact that new car factories will use robots instead of humans and gear casting, and they'll also utilize sodium ion batteries, well, you can see how EVs could go down to as low as $7,000. And I'm not just talking about small EVs, 
but mid-sized and even potentially large electric SUVs. And the reason is this. lithium ion phosphate batteries today are cheaper than batteries have ever been. Battery prices have come down by more than 92% over the past 10 years. Now today, lithium ion phosphate batteries cost around 55 US dollars per kilowatt hour, and that's really cheap. That's really cheap. But sodium ion batteries could bring the cost down to around $10 per kilowatt hour, say some experts, including Tony Sieber. If we combine all of those things, doubling of production, potentially a doubling and then a doubling again of production, and then having robots build our cars, then having gigacasting and structural battery packs, then adding to that, having sodium ion batteries and mass producing those batteries, doubling production of batteries again and again, you can see a virtuous, a virtuous cycle. Now, this doesn't really take into account other factors, which also will have an impact, including things like energy density increasing. Because battery energy density keeps on going up, and that applies to sodium ion batteries as well as lithium ion phosphate, as well as NMC, as well as sodium ion, as well as solid state batteries, well, that means smaller batteries will be needed in the future. And if you've got a smaller battery, the entire car can be lighter and cheaper to manufacture. So various technologies will converge, and that will bring down the cost of electric cars. Now, can you say the same thing about the cost to produce an internal combustion engine car? Well, there are no internal combustion engine cars that use gigacasting. There are no internal combustion engine cars that use either lithium ion phosphate or sodium batteries. And interestingly, in China, where more than 50% of cars sold now are electric, uh, EVs are usually cheaper than internal combustion. In fact, 66% of the time, EVs are cheaper than internal combustion. And EV prices continue to fall almost every single month. So for those people who still doubt the electric car revolution, companies like Toyota who say EVs will never represent more than 30% of global car sales, well, I think all those facts put together prove that um, actually the EV revolution cannot be stopped. It's inevitable. Let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.